Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have the OXO Omelet Turning Flip and Fold Spatula that I coated my 18 by 24 inch canvas with. I coated it in orange. It gave it a little bit of yellow. And then I couldn't help myself. I just grabbed some of the damp paint and scraped it off. You'll see that in a minute. These are my spatula heads, one plastic, one silicone. There's a tool video. I did. I just made another one. I hope that works. I think it will. Anyway, those are going to go over here. And because I did not just orange, but I did a little, um, a little yellow, I think I'm going to do something very similar and hope that I can get away with it. That is the Artist Loft Amethyst No idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to spread a layer of paint and scrape it off because that's what somebody asked me to do. And I'm going to start because I don't know what I'm doing. And after that, I'm going to scrape. And I really need kind of a semi-heavy coat. And I might, might be sorry that I put that break on my turntable. I may have to put some more paint on. I kind of like where the orange is showing through though. Never done anything quite like this before. I'm going to keep picking up colors as I go. I shouldn't be too worried about the orange showing through because I really kind of like it a lot. And when I see that I don't have enough dark, whoop, that wasn't it. I see I don't have enough dark, I put some more of that in there. I got a few cells. I can't have an overabundance of paint or I won't get it off again. I do have a scrape dish I'm going to use. I'm going to wish I had a picture of this. It's giving me ideas for other things. I think I could definitely have a good time just leaving an orange background and having it show through. I'm going to grab a scrape dish so I can take some of the paint that seems like it might be a little, more, a little too copious. right off and I'll be scraping it. I'd kind of like the background to look cohesive but being that this is a first and I've never done it before it's going to be what it's going to be this time and I'll use that paint in another painting or on the edges. It's time to go. It's time to get that flake of paint out of there too. I have dry tweezers. I have stainless steel pointy tweezers. I love my tweezers. They're on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is below the link tree. The link tree is right under the video. And I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket. And the cool thing about these little saucers that I get it, not the tape, that I get at Michael's is that you can put one right over the other. Or you could use it for a lid for the little dishes too. So let's try my little tool first. Yeah. I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to grab a dish to tap off into and I might even wish I had a paper towel. And I do have one handy so I'm going to use that. And grab my other two tools and go to town. I was kind of hoping that the white spots that I dug, dug in with the spatula were going to be interesting. No idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to keep doing it. Keep dabbing off of it. 
keep dabbing off my tool so I have some... This is neat. This is different. Let's hope I can make the process as cool as I'm hoping for. I've got another tool. I've got all kinds of choices. I've got a really fat wedge. Where's it going to go though? I like that. That's pretty cool. The nice wide one is definitely dramatic. Especially with that orange popping through. And I don't mind the white. And there is a tiny little bit of yellow in there too. I like the idea of adding some definition. I gotta remember to keep tapping off or I'll have too much paint. I wanna take this little one. that I just made and use it. I don't know if I need to go overboard and do everything because it's pretty cool without doing everything I'm thinking at the moment. I'm not thinking too much about my design. I'm bas just basically filling in. I've wanted to twist these sideways for a while now. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think I'm going to do it again over here. And for the most part, I don't think the paint is going to fill back in. But even if it does, it's just going to merge things nicely. He, he did it over here, but I think, like I said, it's going to be okay. So, you've got to be careful and make sure your paint is more even than mine is. I love doing that. That's just too much fun. Let's see if I've got a smaller one. I don't have that much room left to do too many other odd things. And the paint is heavy over here. I gotta remember that. Let's hope I can keep that. I think we're nearly done. I like my multiple purples. I think if I go too much further, I'm not going to be happy. I am going to try and take a little more paint right off that area right there. Okay, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I love you guys. Thanks for inspiring me. Thanks for the suggestion of the orange and purple. I wish I'd thought of it myself. I, I, I actually think everybody thinks about orange and purple at Halloween. So I probably was as well. But it was nice to be thought of. Yes, I'm still playing and I must stop. I really must. I've got more ideas coming your way soon enough. Yeah, I'm not stopping, am I? So please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. That's pretty cool. That's a piece of modern art and I'm happy with it and I'm happy with you guys. Thank you for the wonderful comments that keep me and my morale boosted. I just changed my time, my post time, to 1 p.m. in the afternoon, so it might be um, few and far between people knowing that I'm actually doing that. Uh, check my link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my new Society6 shop, and my legalist clothing made in Montreal, which is uh, investment quality. Society6 has awesome furniture and other really great stuff. My email address is below the link tree. The link tree is probably the second link under the video, and you'll have to open Show More to find it. When you open Show More, you're going to find my paint pouring recipe. I'm going to zoom in on this just because it's fun. 
and it's wild. And I think I could do all kinds of colors in the background, as long as they were all light. That's just too much fun. I definitely need to conquer the um, how much paint is in the layer that covers it. But I like the dark, and I could have had some more of that, and I'll know for next time. So, if you are interested in helping support the studio's production of videos and keeping my YouTube channel alive, and you make a donation through the PayPal icon on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, or the Linktree link, uh, you'll be automatically invited to jet get into the monthly drawing, and there are like five or six paintings up for grabs, and they're included at the beginning of the exhibition video that's added to the end screen of the video you're watching and most recent videos. Um, <laughs> my Amazon link is on the link tree and if you shop there you help me out. I have two books and they're Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, Volumes 1 and 2. If you have questions, please ask. Just know that I really appreciate your thumbs up and when you watch the videos longer and when they come out at 1 p.m. It's a humongous help to me and, and I might actually survive. It might take a while. I do torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I don't think there are many bubbles caught in the paint, but I will torch very quickly. And uh, I think this could be done with more cells because I see cells. On the surface but I wasn't really looking for cells and that's fine I'm pretty happy with this I'm really happy with you guys I'm glad you're still here tell all your friends share my videos please <laughs> I'm trying just trying to survive and uh, I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill Florida also that helps and um, I do sell my artwork so if you have an inquiry please ask me at EASPB the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com that link is under me underneath my link tree all right, if you have questions, don't forget to ask. I'll be torching. I love you guys. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.